So let's examine the following example that deals with magnetic fields produced as a result of electric currents flowing through straight conducting wires. So let's suppose we have the following two straight conducting wires which are placed parallel with respect to one another. So wire number one has an electric current given by I1 which runs in the positive direction along the y-axis and likewise wire number two has a different electric current given by I2 which also runs in the same positive direction along the y-axis as shown by the following arrows. So we want to find the magnetic field midway between the two parallel wires. Assume that the currents in each wire run in the positive direction along the y-axis. Let current I1 be 30 amps, current I2 be 45 amps, and suppose the separation distance between our two parallel wires is given by 30 centimeters. So we want to find what the magnetic field is midway between our two wires. So 15 centimeters from wire 1 and 15 centimeters from wire 2. So magnetic fields have direction as well as magnitude. Magnitude, as we'll see in just a moment, is given by this equation while direction is found by applying right hand rule number 1. So, let's determine the direction of the magnetic field B1 as a result of I1 and B2 as a result of I2 using right hand rule number one. So, we take our right hand and we wrap our right hand around our wire so that our thumb points in the same direction as our electric current. So let's begin with wire number one. So we wrap it in this direction so that our extended thumb points in the positive direction along the y-axis and we see that the magnetic field points in the same direction as the curling motion of our hand and so that means our B1 forms a concentric circle around our wire number one that points in a counterclockwise direction. If we apply the same exact rule for wire number two, we see that our wire number two forms a magnetic field B2 that also forms a concentric circle around wire number two that points in a counterclockwise direction. And if we examine the top to bottom view of the following diagram, we see the following result. So we see that our electric current I1 and electric current I2 both point out of the board as shown by the following two dots. So both of these magnetic fields run in the same counterclockwise direction. Now we're examining what our total magnetic field is at this point. 15 centimeters from either one of these centers. Now as a result of I1, B1 in this particular point will point in a positive direction along our y-axis while B2 as a result of I2 will point in a negative direction so B2 points downward along the y-axis and B1 points upward. So we choose going up to be positive, going down to be negative. So, we essentially want to take the algebraic sum of these two magnetic field vectors. So B1 plus negative B2. The negative comes as a result of this opposite direction. Now, we essentially plus minus, that becomes a negative. Now, recall that the magnetic field magnitude of the magnetic field is given by the following equation. This gives us the magnitude of the magnetic field as a result of an electric current flowing in a long straight wire. So we assume that the length of the wire is much longer than the separation distance. So B1 becomes mu naught divided by 2 pi multiplied by I1 divided by R, while B2 becomes mu divided by 2 pi multiplied by I2 divided by R. Now the R in these cases 
cases is exactly the same because our r, the distance from either one of these wires to the point midway between our two wires is exactly the same. It's simply half of this quantity. So we see that both of these terms have mu naught, have 2 pi and r, so we can take them out and we get the following equation. So our magnetic field, the total magnetic field at this point is equal to mu naught divided by 2 pi r multiplied by I1 minus I2, the difference between our two electric currents. So, mu naught is simply the permeability of free space. It's equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 teslas multiplied by meters divided by amps. While the bottom becomes 2 pi multiplied by half of this divided by 100 because we want to convert from centimeters to meters. So 0 0.15 meters and this becomes 30 amps because I1 is 30 minus 45 amps because our I2 is 45 and this becomes negative 15 amps and we multiply that by this ratio and we get negative 2 times 10 to negative 5 teslas. So the magnitude of our magnetic field is 2 times 10 to negative 5 teslas and the direction is negative meaning the total magnetic field points in the downward direction along the y-axis.